Tony Vizzi. I'm here demonstrating uh, slate cutters from John Stewart's and Sons. This is the 95A standard slate cutter. We're going to be looking at some features of this and cutting some slates with this. Also, they're very heavy slate cutter, the genuine slate cutter. Some of the features of the Stewart's cutters are the blades, the hollow ground blades. The genuine slate cutter has a much heavier, wider cut. It is designed for heavier slates. The standard 95A cutter is designed for standard slate, one quarter inch to five sixteenths. I also want to look at the two hole punching devices on them. They're heavy duty, hardened steel, and they're fully replaceable. So now what I'm going to do is do some cuts on the 95A using some Pennsylvania slate here, Pennsylvania black slate. First cut I'm going to make is a, a rip. I'm going to take this slate and basically cut it down the middle. That would be a slate for a starter or an end of a, a wide roof, a gable roof. Okay. All right, still centered here. Cuts very easy with very little effort. cut, no chipping off, breaking off at the end. I'll flip them over so you can see the beveling of the edges. It's kind of a very steep bevel, which is fine for a standard thickness slate. Now we're going to get the genuine slate cutter, or the 51C. And we're going to take another slate this time we're going to do a valley cut. So I'm going to just uh, pretend that I marked this for a valley. Just as a side note, you notice we're always cutting on the back of the slate so that that bevel edge appears on the front of the slate after it's mounted. Also, we're going to start a valley cut at the bottom of the slate that we want. This is our valley slate here on this side, so we're going to start our cut here so that when we get to the end of the cut, if there's a break or a chip, it doesn't matter since it's getting buried under other slates. So I'm going to cut with the cutter blade on the bad side of this line, the uh, waste side. Get toward the end of the cut. Support the slate so that we don't have a chip on. Wow, well, that was perfect. Now that was a nice cut right to the very end without a large chunk or a chip coming off. The 51C is going to give you a little bit more of a bevel edge. I'm going to hold up the cut from the 95A, you're going to see the difference there, slightly different bevel 